It's a great day at Pete's RV Center, South Burlington, Vermont. I'm Matt Goulet, I'm a sales representative at the dealership, and I'm gonna be walking around the 2017 Sunset Trail 331 today. Ton of product changes on this guy. We're gonna go over them with you. We'll start right up front. So first off, so a couple of things that are going to be standard. Power tongue jack, ease of use when you're hooking and unhooking your camper. You will have a light on there as well. Dual propane tanks, spot for two batteries. Also what they just added this year too. So solar ready on this guy. So right up front, um, if you want to do a lot of dry camping, you could do so. Get solar panels and uh, trickle charge your battery. As we look at the outside of this coach, Josh, the first thing I'm going to say, brand new graphics package on it. So black exterior cap here, and it's also going to be accented with blue metallic um, decals in it. It's also going to be a nice light tan finish all the way through. Looks really, really good. It's not going to show the dirt um, as much as the white campers would or the black. And it looks, it looks awesome in my opinion. You'll see that when you go in. <clears throat> Couple of things on the outside. So full pass through storage. You're going to see the aluminum framing in this as well, which is, this is a super light model. So 7,200 pounds. Um, it's going to be a bath and a half big bunkhouse floor plan, which we'll get into, but super light model, aluminum framing, fiberglass siding all the way through. So we swing underneath the awning here. So a couple things to point out. They changed the LED light strip, put it back on the base um, of the awning so it lights up the living space a little bit better for you guys. Um, also, this is gonna be a big, big awning. So it extends you know, almost the entire length of the coach with the exception of the outdoor kitchen, which is covered. But you're also gonna see this is gonna have a slide out on this side. Um, there is an island kitchen in there that makes it really spacious, but you really don't lose that much awning space because of it, because the awning is so large. Couple things as well. So aluminum tires, those are gonna be nitrogen filled. Things you can't see on this guy. There's gonna be a fully enclosed underbelly. So early spring, late fall camping is gonna be perfect for you guys, you know, in the Northeast. Um, so extend your camping season with that heated enclosed underbelly. Outdoor kitchen, which is gonna encompass your electric refrigerator on the outside, dorm style for your drinks. Also a drain sink. The biggest thing is going to be the durable countertop. So they went away from, you know, like the particle, particle board countertops and went to like a, a more aluminum styled countertop so that it, it can withstand the elements in the rain um, and those types of things. All right, let's go on inside, Josh, and take a look at um, this sunset. <clears throat> So one of the biggest things that we've heard throughout the industry um, in the past couple of years is gonna be how dark campers are. Sunset Trail really went out of the way to try and lighten this camper up. Light countertops, light wallboards in the slide outs, which I'll get into. I mean, wallboards ever, even, even the ceilings, the woodwork is more like a, like a washed stone woodwork. It looks really, really good. Um, but we'll start right here in the kitchen. So stainless steel appliances, Norcold gas and electric refrigerator with coldness settings one through five. So if you have dairy product in there, you can put it, you know, not as cold as if you had soda or, or other drinks like that. Storage all the way through, rollerball bearing drawer guides, strong, durable, residential style. With the island kitchen, what's nice, you get the stainless steel sink in it. Also, you're going to get all the extra storage underneath it as well. So spots put pots and pans or, or plates or whatever you feel necessary um, goes down there. We'll work our way into this slide out here. So extended dinette table, which we'll make into a sleeping space. And the biggest thing I wanna point out is gonna be this wall board. Light, light wall board gives it a really cool look. It's something that you don't see anybody else doing um, with that pattern. Also, to bring up the lightness factor again, tons of windows on both sides of the slide out so you can get that cross ventilation air and also two big windows um, in the middle of the slide out as well. The biggest thing too, so everyone kept saying, well, I know I don't like turning my head when I have to watch TV. This sofa is gonna be almost directly across from this television. So it's ease of use. You can sit there, you know, watch a show, watch a movie when it's raining outside um, and not feel uncomfortable. Let's swing on back into the bunk room here. Bunk room, so number one, no curtain. It does have a door that closes off. Number two, so these are gonna be teddy bear mattresses. You're gonna have one on the left side of the coach, one on the right side of the coach. Um, this does flip up as well. So you're gonna have an extra sleeping space underneath or a spot to hang out for the kids. Um, entertainment center, TV, and I'll go here. Storage all the way around. And the biggest thing is gonna be this door on this side. So another half bath back here. So you can have two separate bathrooms, you know, one for the kids or, or the extra people staying with you and then one up front for yourself. Couple things I didn't point out when we first walked in. So all LED lighting through this, 
You're going to see the arch ceilings, which is good in the northeast for water, snow runoff, and also gives you a little more headroom on the inside as well. Um, and we'll keep moving up front. I'll let Josh come into the master bathroom here. So nice glass shower surround. You're going to see a sink in the corner here with an outlet. So if you want to, you know, blow dry your hair or do something like that, there's a spot to plug that in. Medicine cabinet above, little storage behind. And right behind the toilet here is going to be a storage for all your towels and linens, spot to hang stuff as well. So they really utilize the space well in here and the bathroom does feel pretty spacious. We'll swing into the master bedroom. So full walk around bed, which is nice if you can go all the way around. Storage on both sides, storage above. Um, you're going to have a vent up top and also a TV that can be mounted on this side as well. So right into that wall, you can have a TV and swing around and, and watch some uh, television before you go to bed. But again, my name is Matt Goulet from Pete's RV Center. It's a 2017 Sunset Trail 331. Um, great bunkhouse floor plan. Again, a lightweight, 7,200 pounds. Um, feel free to stop by the dealership um, or feel free to contact me with any questions. Thanks again.